What up guys, we got the new Simon line time-lapse prototype run. Yes, this one's gonna be mine. I don't know how much I'm gonna throw it, but I figured I'd throw it for you guys. You guys can see how it stacks up to the Halo Destroyer and the Gold Horizon Cloudbreaker. Get a good shot of that. Very stable from what I've thrown. And then this is the most stable disc in my bag. Halo Destroyer. Got a little bit of a headwind here. Um, and I don't throw the farthest. Um, my farthest throwing disc right now, I throw a Halo Turn. Um, so these are pretty much out of my league. I only throw the Halo Destroyer if it's into a super strong headwind or if I need something to curve really hard to the right, I throw backhand lefty. Um, I can get it out about 400 feet uh, with my Halo Turn. So this is a 330, 340, maybe max. Like I said, I usually don't use it on a distance line. I usually just use it for the hard finish or straight into a headwind. So let's give these all a throw. Try to get you guys a comparison on how they fly. We'll throw the destroyer first. We'll see where the time lapse comes in. We try to release these all flat, but I am an amateur, so bear with me. Well, that was terrible. Got the cloud breaker. That was a better throw. See, still reliable finish. We got the time lapse. Try to put this on the same line. Those two are both little nose up. Oh yeah. Okay. First thoughts. The Simon line, or the time lapse, pushes way straighter. Not nearly as stable as I thought it was going to be. The Halo Destroyer and the Horizon Cloudbreaker are quite a bit more overstable. But it had a real nice push and it still had that reliable finish. So I'm gonna go grab these. We'll go throw into a tailwind and see how it goes. Maybe try to put a little flex on it, a little more height. Halo Destroyer. Nose down, nose down, nose down. There we go, got a nice flex on it. Not too high, but I'm not very good at those high flex shots. They usually just come out nose up. All right, Horizon Cloudbreaker. Yeah, nose up. And the Simon line, time, time lines. Still nose up. Good promo though. I guess you could see the logo the whole way. All right, once again, Halo Destroyer first. Big hyzer. Cloud breaker. That one held it a lot straighter. And then we got the Horizon, or the Simon line. Considerably more tailwind right now. Uh, 
That flies so good. First, we're gonna go Halo Destroyer. Nose up. Nose up, nose up, nose up. Gold Horizon Cloudbreaker. No flex line, but straight. And time lapse. Reliably overstable, feels great in the hand. If you can get yourself one, I would definitely grab one. Seeing as they're all retailers are limited to 10, it's gonna be pretty tough. Uh, but I'm sure once the stock release comes out, there'll be a lot more available. So if you don't grab the prototype, don't worry about it. The stock run will be out soon. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.